Hey kids! Welcome back to Mamsi TV. For today's video, we are going to discuss Math 4, Quarter 4, Week 5 that focuses on data involving two variables and organizing data in tabular form and bar graph form. Learning Objectives At the end of the video lesson, you are expected to Familiarize the two variables in collecting data. Organize the data gathered in a tabular form. Present data in a single or double horizontal or vertical bar graph. There are times that we need to collect information about the things related to our daily life. Knowing the information is collecting data. Let's think of this. Data is a collection of gathered information. There are two variables in collecting data. They are categorical data. These are data whose values describe some characteristics or category. Example, kung ang in, tinatalakay dito or ipinapakita dito ay mga favorite colors, favorite pets, favorite flowers, and etc. Second, numerical data. These are data that take on numerical values or ang kinokolek mong data ay Tumutukoy sa number of pupils, the number of scores, or number of tests, and etc. Let's try to answer this. Identify what kind of variables used in the following statements. Encircle your answer. The most like colors of grade 4 pupils in Andres Bonifacio Elementary School. Number of scores in summative test in mathematics of Mr. Yap class. Favorite flowers of grade 4 jade pupils. Number of biscuits sold during recess in our school canteen. Collecting data is hard when there is a lot of information to be sorted. So what are we going to do? To be able to simplify and make the data understandable, we need to use a tool like tally chart or frequency table. But what is tally chart or frequency table? Let's find out. Let's study this example problem. Philip loves to help picking and sorting eggs from the family's poultry farm. Every day, he picks eggs. Then, he will sort the eggs according to their sizes. Let's help Philip sort the eggs. So, let's say ito yung listahan ng mga sizes ng eggs na nakulek ni Philip. So, ano ang gagawin natin para ma-organize natin ang data collected? That's right, gagamit tayo ng tally chart or frequency table. Tally chart or frequency table is used to organize and display data in a very comprehensive way and it, and it is very easy to use since filling a chart with marks is much easier than writing words. So, paano? First, gagawa muna tayo ng table or tinatawag nating tabular form. Then, ililabel natin yung mga data. So, here, 
susulat natin yung sizes, tali, and frequency. Kapag sinabi nating tali, magpapalitos tayo dito kung ilang beses yung variable or yung um, sizes na nakolect ni Philip. At kapag sinabi naman nating frequency, bibilangin lang natin yung napalitos mo sa tali. Tapos na nating ma-draw yung table, so pwede na nating isulat yung mga data. So, sa sizes, meron tayong small, medium, and large. Then, magsisimula na tayong mag-tally or mag-draw ng line or paltos. So, let's start! We have the small, medium, large, large, medium, small, small, large, medium, Large, medium, small, medium, large, and medium. Ngayong tapos na tayong magtali, ito total na natin kung ilan yung napaltos mo at yun ang ilalagay natin sa frequency. Sa small, meron tayong 4. Sa medium, meron tayong 6. Sa large, ay meron tayong 5. So, kompleto na ang ating data. So, ito ang example, children, ng pag-organize ng data using a tally chart or frequency table or tabular form. There is another easy way in presenting a data to be able to understand easily the information gathered. It is in a bar graph form or by using the bar graph. So, when we say bar graph, it is used to show the comparison of data from the different variables. It may either be vertical or horizontal, and it may be also be single or double bar. So, um, balikan natin ang tally chart or frequency table na ginawa natin kanina. Ito ang magiging basis natin sa pag-present ng data gamit ang bar graph. So, una natin gawin ay isulat muna natin yung title sa itaas. Number of eggs per size collected by Philip. Sunod natin gagawin ay guguhit tayo or gagawa tayo ng graph. So, here it is. Ngayon, maglalagay tayo ng label ng variables. So, dito sa ibaba, ilalagay natin yung size, which is small, medium, and large. Next one naman, eh, dito sa kabilang side, isusulat natin yung number of eggs. So, ilalagay din natin yung from 0 to 6. Bakit hanggang 6 lang? Kasi ang pinaka-greatest number na nakolek ni Philip ay yung medium size which is 6. Ngayong kompleto na ang labels ng graph na ginawa natin, pwede na tayong gumawa ng bar. So napakadali lang, titingnan mo lang yung nasa data sa tally chart. So ilan ang frequency ng small? That's it, 4. So, magkukulay tayo ng from 0 hanggang 4. Then, ang medium, ilan? 6. And, ang large ay 5. So, there you have it, kids. Meron na tayong vertical single bar graph. Let's try to study this another problem. Kathleen interviewed her 10 classmates on their favorite vegetables. Let us help her organize the data she collected. So, let's say ito yung data collected ni Kathleen. So, dito sa first group nakasulat yung 10 or yung name ng 10 classmates niya. And dito naman sa kabila ay mga vegetables. So, Kung inyo mapapansin, sa classmates niya, merong boys and merong girls. And katulad ganina, para ma-organize natin ang data collected, gagamit tayo ng tally chart or frequency table. So, katulad din kanina, lalagyan natin ng label yung 
chart. So this time, since ang collected data natin ay vegetables, kaya vegetables ang nilagay natin. Then, ilagay yung tally and frequency. Now, meron lang changes ngayon since ang isa sa ating data ay may kinalaman sa tao na either boy or girl, kaya naglagay tayo sa tally at frequency ng boys and girls. Then, so magsimula na tayong mag-tally or magpaltos. So, Fred, Squash, Lani, Malunggay, Melissa, Ampalaya, Clyde, Squash, David, Ampalaya, Saira, Squash, Alan, Squash, Elise, Ampalaya, Kathy, Squash, and Caleb, Malunggay. Tapos na tayo magtali, so bibilangin na natin ang frequency. So, ilan ang frequency sa tali ng boys sa squash? Tama, merong 3. So, girls, merong 2. Sa malunggay, meron tayong 1 sa boy at meron ding 1 sa girl. And sa ampalaya, meron tayong 1 sa boys and 2 sa girls. This time, gagawa tayo ng bar graph. So, katulad kanina, yung tally chart or frequency table ang magiging basihan natin sa paggawa ng bar graph. So, una natin gagawin, guguhit tayo or gagawa tayo ng graph. So, here it is. Then, maglalagay tayo ng label. So, dito sa baba, number of classmates. So, lalagay tayo ng 0 to 3. Kasi ang pinakamatas na frequency ay 3. And then, sa kabila naman, yung vegetables na squash, malunggay, and ampalaya. Then, susulat natin ang title ng graph na ating gagawin, which is Favorite Vegetables of 10 Classmates of Kathleen. Then, since uh, meron tayong variable na boys and girls, gagawa tayo ng legend para madali tayong makagawa ng bar sa graph na ating ginagawa. So, ang legend natin, green for boys and red for girls. So, titingin na tayo sa ating tally chart or frequency table. Ilan ang nakakuha ng squash sa boys? That's right, meron tayong 3. Sa girls ay meron tayong 2. Malunggay, ang boys natin ay 1. At girls ay 1 din. Then, ang palaya is 1. And girls is 2. So, there you have it, kids. Meron na tayong horizontal double bar graph. Remember... Data is a collection of gathered information. The two variables that can be collected in data are categorical data and numerical data. Tally chart or frequency table is used to organize and display data in a very comprehensive way. Bar graph is used to show the comparison of data from the different variables. That ends our video lesson for today. If you have a question, don't hesitate to write your questions in the comment box. Please don't forget to like and share my video. If this is your first time to visit my channel, please click Subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified for my latest videos. Bye and thank you!